Hi everybody, it's me, Sarah Palin, and I wrote a book by myself. And for all you Mr. Smarty Pants out there, I didn't write the book using crayons or finger paints. Sarah, why did you write your going wrong book? Oprah, I wanted to clear up all the misleading things people out there have been saying about me. You mean like, you're just George Bush with lipstick? You betcha. Or you're just George Bush in a dress? That's right. Or you're just George Bush with perky tits and a vagina? Golly, Oprah, look, I'm not a hot female version of George Bush in any way. Oh, sorry. Well then, what about, despite your emphasis on Christian family values, your own family is actually pretty fucked up. I guess. Or that choosing you is John McCain's biggest mistake. Oh, Okay. Or that you became the Republican vice president nominee because you won some kind of blow John McCain contest. Oprah, could we just move on? Okay then, what about the problems of teen pregnancy in America, starting with your daughter Bristol? Well, Oprah, I was not happy about that. I mean, suddenly I went from MILF to GILF, and I don't even have any great pubes on the old baby maker yet. But unfortunately for Bristol, I'm so anti-abortion that I would even make rape victims have babies. Speaking about the abortion issue, when you found out that your baby had Down syndrome, did you ever consider an abortion? Actually, when Todd and I first heard the baby had an extra chromosome, we mistakenly thought it was a good thing. You know, extra chromosomes. Yay! We thought the baby would be super smart or have superpowers like one of them their X-Men superheroes. Boy, were we wrong. But honestly, Oprah, abortion for us was never an option. And the only way I would ever consider an abortion is if it could be retroactive and we could abort that perky Katie Cora B-I-T-C-H. Sarah, we all know that you just spelled bitch. Oops. But Sarah, what about your strained relationship with Levi Johnson? The Father of your grandson Trip. Is Levi invited to your Thanksgiving dinner? You mean Chatty Chatterbox, the porn star who keeps spilling all the family secrets? Besides baby Trip, he is Bristol's main consequence of having unprotected sex. But actually, we are very happy his wiener is appearing safely inside the pages of Playgirl, and no longer appearing anywhere inside of Bristol, if you catch my drift. But I'm really just kidding, Oprah. Like it or not, he is part of the family, and he is totally invited to our Thanksgiving dinner. In fact, if he could bring over some extra copies of his Playgirls, that would be wonderful. Wonderful? Yes, Oprah, Bristol and I have seen the pictures of Levi in Playgirl, and we love them. We've had so much fun together, drawing arrows on his pictures, pointed at his wiener. And then we always write the word green at the end of the arrows. Good times. Thank you, Sarah. I have one more question for you. Are you going to run for president in 2012? Well, I don't know, Oprah. Would I have to suck any more John McCain dick? No, Sarah. Of course not. Then yes, you betcha. Well then, I'm leaving broadcast television.